Princeton, New Jersey, 08540. Connie Francis has sold over 100 million records. And now, for the first time on TV, Connie Francis offers you her most beautiful love songs of all. The songs that touch you more than any others. These are the songs everyone remembers. Connie's most richly beautiful recordings. But you also get another entire Connie Francis album. The sentimental favorites you'll always love. Every one of these sentimental favorites is just as beautiful. And how you'll enjoy the treasury of love songs. You get both Connie Francis treasuries. They're not sold in stores. Order yours now. Mail 1298 to Connie Francis, 111 West College Street, Murfreesboro, 37130. You get two record albums, two cassettes, or two eight-track tapes. This special Connie Francis offer will end with no advance notice, so write this address down now. Mail to Connie Francis, 111 West College Street, Murfreesboro, 37130. Connie Francis, 111 West College Street, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, 37130. All of us here at Television 39 wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving and holiday season. Nick Martin will kick off. Lorenzo Rivers and Terry Goodlow are the deep man, and the kick sails into the end zone, and it'll be taken there by Rivers and downed as Tennessee Tech will bring it out to the 20-yard line. Offensively, John, Tech runs the wishbone. They have thrown very few passes this year. They like to keep it on the ground and keep possession of the ball and just pound it at you. Well, their quarterbacks have thrown 49 and 45, respectively, and you don't know which one will start here. Probably Fisher, but Pope comes in a lot. They do have a good uh, ground attack, and they're going to have a running back go over 1,000 yards probably this afternoon. That would be Eddie Hayward, the fullback number 48. Brent Fisher, number 12, is the quarterback, 6'4", 208, a junior. They set up in the wishbone. Strong to the right side. Raiders six-man defensive front. They give it to Hayward. Jammed up at the line of scrimmage. He has nothing. Ran into the linebacker Michael Davis at that point, and the Raiders swarmed on Hayward at the 20-yard line. Remainder of the offensive backfield for Tech will have Ronald Turner, number 23 at one half back. Lorenzo Rivers and Travis Dunlap generally alternate at the other one. Eddie Hayward, the fullback. Matt Eldridge, 83, the tight end. Kelly Averett, 73, the center. Brian Keeper and Rick Hens are the guards. Charles Collins, Brian Wall are the tackles. Second down, nine from the 21-yard line. Give to the fullback and sliding through Hayward off left guard. Gets about four yards to the 25-yard line. Wade Perry, the defensive guard from Hohenwall, grabbed his ankle and uh, Hayward went down after a four-yard gain. That will bring up a third and five for the Golden Eagles, just shy of the Raider 25-yard line. This is the area where the wishbone hurts you, third down and five, and you're showing your running attack for the most part, but you have to be able to pass off that. They'll try to sprint behind their back sometimes and flood the inside zone. So here's a third down play right away for Tennessee Tech. Third down, a little more than five yards to go as the Golden Eagles will fake to the fullback. Fisher running the option, pitches it back. Down behind the line of scrimmage is Ronald Turner as John Garrett, the defensive end, came through, played the run, and got the toss man, Turner, behind the line for a loss back to the 23-yard line. That's what uh, you call playing the man that you're assigned to that time. Garrett, an excellent job fighting off a block. Here's the punt of Scott Meadows, one of the top kickers in the conference. Griffin waiting for it at the 32, swings all the way back to the 25, gets a good block to the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's going to go all the way. Griffin all the way for a touchdown. Well, we haven't done that this year, Dick.
Senior Don Griffin mobbed in the end zone after taking a Tennessee Tech punt and going 68 yards for a touchdown. He got a great block up here at the 30-yard line as he swung back to the 25, setting up the letting the blockers set up the return. Martin's extra point is away, and the kick by Martin is no good. Off to the left. The Raiders score on the punt return by Don Griffin. I think it'll go into the books as a 68-yard return, although he actually ran about 75 or 80 yards. We'll be back for the Raider kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Services Unlimited. You name it, we do it. Office and home cleaning. We'll clean your home or office to give you that professional look. We wash windows and do all types of maintenance. Commercial or residential painting and carpentry are another of our specialties. We'll also provide a complete landscape and maintain the upkeep. And our lawn care service will mow yards, rake leaves, and take out dead trees and shrubs. That service is unlimited. 895-0477. If you're car shopping, come to Rivergate Motors on Gallatin Road. At Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, you'll find luxury cars, sport cars, economy cars, and custom vans. Dan always offers a good selection of quality late model pre-owned automobiles and used custom vans, including rentals available on custom vans. Rivergate Motors also offers bank financing at attractive rates. Stop by and save thousands at Rivergate Motors, Gallatin Road, one mile north of Rivergate near Music City Honda. Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, where you'll always find the right car or van at a great price. 13.01, Don Griffin went 68 yards with the Tennessee Tech punt for the touchdown. And now the Raiders, Dick Martin kicking off once again as Rivers and Goodlow are deep. Yeah, the specialty team all year long has been very effective, Dick. And there we go once again. We haven't had many kickoff returns to go for, so why not the punt return? All right, here's the kick, a low kick, and this one's going to be fielded by Rivers at the 5. Rivers comes to the 10. Oh, gets hit hard as he crosses the 15 up around the 17 or 18-yard line. Vince Johnson, freshman defensive end from Knoxville, made the tackle. Johnson, by the way, threw one of the key blocks on Griffin's punt return. There was an excellent block down I'm around the 30-yard yes. line who that uh, freed Griffin as he started that 68-yard return. Tech will start at the 18-yard line, first and 10. Fisher is the quarterback out of the wishbone set. Fisher takes, gives to the fullback, and he is driven to the artificial turf as Roosevelt Culver, the linebacker, came up to hit him. Hayward, a junior, 5'10", 190, came into the game with 926 yards rushing on the season, 4.2 per carry, and... Uh, Needs uh, 74 yards to hit the 1,000 mark. Right now, the defense stick is meeting the Tech ball carriers at the line of scrimmage. There's no opportunity for them to get moving. Second and eight. Tech with the football on its own 20-yard line, wide out to the right side. Full house backfield in the wishbone. And they give it again to the fullback. This time he's got five, six, seven, eight yards driving up for an apparent first down near the 28, 29-yard line before Doug Holman brought him down. Hayward is a punishing runner at 190, a two-year letterman, and he will be very, very uh, tenacious running that football. Now that time he escaped the grasp of Wade Fury, and once that happened, uh, started to move those feet forward, picking up first down yardage. Raiders leading by a score of six to nothing. If you joined us late, you missed Don Griffin's punt return for a touchdown on Tennessee Tech's first punt. First down from the 30-yard line. Tech in purple and gold. They run the option. Pitch it back to Rivers. He fumbles, and Griffin will recover. Don Griffin recovers for the Raiders as Deulius caused the fumble, hitting Rivers. He coughs it up, and Griffin recovers at the Tennessee Tech 41-yard line. Our takeaway margin, Dick, has been the difference between a year with eight wins and three losses, perhaps, in the 11-0 season. A great hit that time, and Griffin right there for the recovery. And the uh, takeaway turnover, well over 20, and that has to be a very big compliment to the Raider defense. 11-35 remaining in the first quarter. Raiders on their first offensive series now as the quarterback is Marvin Collier. 
movement in the line. Uh, well, that was interesting. Larry Pickett, you know, when you see a slight movement, usually in the offensive line, Dick, some defender will punish you. Pickett knew he was offsides. He just shellacked the Tech defensive tackle. Why not? It's going to cost him five. Raiders offensively with Collier at quarterback, freshman from Cordell, Georgia. Gerald Anderson, the tailback, sophomore. Junior Tony Burse at fullback. Flanker Mike Pittman. He'll alternate with Garrett Self. The split end Ray Palhagi will alternate with Robert Alford there. Tight end Mike Clark. Tackles David Kersell and Larry Pickett. Sperling and Andrews, the guards. Doug Hentemeyer, the center. After the five yard penalty, the Raiders at the 46. Collier sprinting out, going to run to the 45. He's at the 40. He fumbles the ball, and I think Tennessee Tech has recovered. Tech recovers around the 37 yard line. Collier. Put the ball down to his side, John, on as he was hip. getting hit, and the ball was knocked free. On his hip, and then he lost it. You know, remember a year ago, even though we had things in control uh, pretty well in the ball game, we fumbled the ball seven times, losing four dicks. So we've had that tendency against Tech of late. So the Raiders run one offensive play, fumble. Tech now gets the football at the 37. Our statistician, George Emery, will have a busy day today if things go as They've started. Raiders six-man defensive front. Wishbone set for Tennessee Tech from the 37 to throw. Hip and down is the quarterback, Fisher. John Garrett caught Fisher, who cocked his arm, drew it back, and then got hit by Garrett and downed back at the 32-yard line. Fisher wanted a quick pass over the center, trying just a real quick pass inside the linebacker, but Garrett would have none of it and wrapped him up before he could make the throw. The Raiders last week, as you know, intercepted seven passes against Akron, and perhaps Fisher, thinking about that, wisely decided not to throw the football. Second down, 15. Tech at their own 32. Raiders leading six to nothing early in the contest. Here's the quarterback pitching it back, and that time the trailing back, Ronald Turner, hit by Garrett as he crossed the line of scrimmage up to the 34-yard line. It'll be a two-yard pickup. That we'll time, bring up uh, a third and 13. That time, Garrett was covering the quarterback, waited for that pitch, and then made the tackle. That is what you call a one-on-two, and Garrett successfully encounters that one-on-two situation. John Garrett and Robert Frazier are the ends. Kenny McDaniel and Dino DeUlius, the tackles. Wade Perry and Doug Homan are the guards. Linebackers, Roosevelt Colvert and Michael Davis. The corners are Buford and Moorhead. Here is Fisher running left on the option, and he is going to be hit. Fumbles! Could have fumbled and for first down the recovery, yardage. Recovery up around the 37 or 38 yard line. No. As Kepper, or Keeper it is, Brian Keeper, offensive guard recovered, but they're still 10 yards short of the first down, so it'll be fourth down and 10 at the 37. Tech now wasting any time, Dick. They're gonna get that punt off very quickly. Scott Meadows kicks it away. Beautiful spiraling kick. Griffin drops back, then is gonna let it go. It'll bounce at the five, and Tech's gonna be able to down it inside the five oh, yard they, line. They, they blew it, I believe. They did not stop it with a host of gold helmets. You know, Dick, uh, for the last six weeks, Meadows has led the OVC. They keep those kind of stats when you're one and nine sometimes you try to break things into a positive manner and that's what they've been doing but for six weeks in a row he's been averaging about 42 yards a punt that one was good for 63 mr emory that's correct 63 yards on the punt raiders take it at the 20 yard line we've already had a couple of three fumbles in the ball game a punt return for a touchdown raiders cod you're giving to anderson sprint draw he's got one two yards and that's all up to the 22 yard line as it was barry wilmore the defensive end, Cedric Hampson, Hampton, the tackle. Wilmore is 5'11", 188, a senior from Mount Juliet. He is second in the league in tackles and assists with 136 coming into this game. He and Thomas Squires are the defensive ends. Hampton and Donald Snyder, the tackles. Arnie Milton is the nose guard. Gain of only a yard on that carry by Anderson. Second down from the 21. Collier back to throw, cranks it up, fires, caught at the 40 and out of bounds. Garrett Self knocked out around the 43-yard line. Strong safety Danny Crooks, a senior from Jamestown, knocked him out, but it's a 22-yard pickup, and the Raiders will be first and 10 at the 43. Mike Brown is the other 
deep back for Jack, and the corners are senior Willie Thompson from Jackson and junior Tim Mabin, who has five interceptions. He is from Duncan, South Carolina. First and 10 Raiders at the 43. Tony Burst, the fullback, Anderson, the tailback. First down play, pitch to Anderson. Anderson looking for running room, stumbles to the 45, and out of bounds at the 46-yard line as Milton, the nose guard, and Rutledge, the linebacker. We failed to mention the linebackers. Hollis Rutledge, a freshman from Gallatin. Bruce Hatfield, a sophomore from Memphis. Linebackers may be the weaker point on the Tech team, not because they're not talented, but because they're young. They don't react to reads very well, according to our scouting reports. And not there this year is Daughtry. You remember him? Oh, yes. The last couple of years. Second down, eight. Raiders up to 45. They run self in motion toward the short side. Here's the gift to the tailback, Anderson. Anderson spinning to the 50, down to the 48, down to the 47-yard line. Goes Gerald Anderson as it was Barry Wilmore, the defensive end, once again. And on the tackle along with Squires, the other end. Their two defensive ends are their two leaders in tackles and assists. Most teams uh, have the linebackers lead in that category. Anderson that time had good blocking, but then second and third effort giving him uh, nearly the first down, but not quite. It'll be third down and about a yard to go for the Raiders at the Tennessee Tech 47-yard line. Raiders now with two tight ends in there. Conyers going to run for the first down as he crosses the 45 and gets down near the Tech 42-yard line. Ron Jurek, a freshman from Hendersonville, made the tackle. But a five-yard pickup for Collier, who needed 11 yards, George, to set a new OBC record. Yes, he did. And that gives him a total of 10 now and two carries. Yeah, he has tied the conference record now for quarterback rushes. Yards rushing by a quarterback, Charlie Forrest. Uh, Murray had that record. Here's the give. And that's Dwight Stone. Or is it Anderson? Oh, that's Anderson. Anderson. Only the boundary that time, Dick, kept him from going all the way for a touchdown. The boundary forced him out, but tremendous open holes that time by the Raider offensive line. He went out at the 23-yard line. Boy, nobody even close to him. It'll be first and 10 at the Tech 23. Raiders out of the eye with a slot to the right side. First down play, Tech five-man defensive front, sprint draw, Anderson. Anderson hit behind the line, is gonna be stopped for no gain. That was Will Moore, the defensive end, as the ball squirted free, but it had been blown dead by the officials. Barry Wilmore, the first man to hit him, number eight, the defensive end. Despite their record and despite uh, the yards given up, I like the way this Tech defense strikes you. It's been a very interesting uh, first few plays already. They are very aggressive when they get into our backfield. Tim Maben also in on that play, number 20. Robert Alford wide to the right side. Okay, now Marvin has only thrown the ball once and it was a duck pass that was complete. Let's see if he's got the spiral back in if he goes uh, aerial this time. Second and 10, penalty marker goes down. Probably delay of game. Well, we've had a few of those this year. All to be marked off. Five-yard penalty, it'll be second and 15 now from the Tech 28-yard line. Time remaining, 6-14 in the first quarter. The Raiders lead six to nothing on Don Griffin's punt return for a touchdown. They called procedure, Dick, not the delay. Glad to have you along on this Saturday afternoon on the Blue Raiders Sports Network and also via television on our Channel 39 replay. Second and 15 from the 28-yard line. As Collier goes back to throw, looks and fires, crossing pattern. Pal Hagee has got it inside the 10-yard line. Thompson, cornerback, brought him down, but Ray Pal Hagee, the senior, spotted down at the 7-yard line. Pal Hagee came into the game with only four receptions on the year. Two have been touchdowns, but all of his catches, Dick, have been just like that. Tremendous opportunities in terms of uh, tough catches. So the Raiders are now first and goal. Football at the Tennessee Tech seven-yard line. Collier marks the signals, pitches back to Anderson to the five, four, three-yard line, and down goes the sophomore, Gerald Anderson, from Franklin, Kentucky. 
defensive end Thomas Squires and Snyder the tackle on the play for Tennessee Tech. Ball down at the three. It'll be second and goal. Crooks that time, the safety came up very hard to knock Anderson. A very excellent read by Crooks out of the defensive secondary. Slot to the left side from the three-yard line. Collier takes a look, runs the option, goes himself, and gets to the goal line. I think only Pickett kept him from going in. Larry was up uh, chicken fighting the man in front of him, and Marvin hit the back of Larry Pickett and did not get in. It'll be third and goal from the one-yard line. He actually got the football into the end zone, but his knee touched down first, and they mark it just shy of the goal line. Now the Raiders with the three tight end offense, setting Mike Clark as a wing to the left side. He goes in motion right, third down play. Anderson goes leaping into the end zone for the touchdown. Tailback Gerald Anderson scores from a yard away, and the Raiders now lead in the ball game by a score of 12 to nothing. As Dick Martin will be coming in to attempt the point after, that is the 11th touchdown. The way the computer sheet shows it, we're supposed to go for two here. And that's not trying to rub anything in. That's what it calls for now to force Tech to score the maximum number of times to catch up. Anderson's 11th touchdown, tying in with Dwight Stone for the team lead. Stone tries for the two points. And now the fake to Stone, and Collier takes it skirting right in for the touchdown for the two-point conversion that will give the Raiders a 14 to nothing lead. We'll pause now 30 seconds and be back with a kickoff on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Do you know what all these people have in common? They're all members of the National Rifle Association. Why have three million Americans joined the NRA? For just $15, you receive full membership, which includes $300 gun theft insurance, $10,000 accidental death and dismemberment insurance, $100,000 free shooter's liability insurance, and your choice of NRA's official magazine, The American Hunter or The American Rifleman. NRA is easily the shooter's biggest bargain, so why not join now? To join the NRA, simply dial the toll-free number on your screen. Join the NRA today and get an NRA shooter's cap free. To join, call toll-free 1-800-453-7200. 1-800-453-7200. Eleven plays, five minutes and eight seconds in the drive, a one-yard run. Gerald Anderson, two-point conversion carried in by Marvin Collier. And with 4.32 remaining... In the first quarter, it is a 14 to nothing game. Martin's kick goes into the end zone, will not be brought out, and Tech will start a series now from its 20-yard line. Tech also in that drive, Marvin Collier now has 12 yards, so he has broken the record at this point in the game. Quarterback could lose yardage on sacks. And Gerald Anderson now has 33, which puts him over the 1,000-yard mark for the year. So a couple of uh, high water marks have been reached here in the Gerald, by the way, is only first the, quarter. Only the fourth running back in Raider history to do that, of course, Vince Hall being one. From the 20 yard line, Tech's got a different quarterback in there. That's Pope. Pope gives to Hayward, and Hayward can't find any running room trying to crack the left side of the line. Ran into Dino DeUlius and Roosevelt Colbert, the defensive tackle and linebacker for the Raiders. A two-yard pickup will make it second down and eight from the 22-yard line. Raiders on top, 14 to nothing. First quarter action. We still have a few fans coming into the stadium here. Beautiful day. Temperature mid-60s, very little wind. And the Raiders off to a good start with a 14 to nothing lead from the 22. Hope is the quarterback. He is there. He's the better runner of the two quarterbacks. He fakes. He's going to keep it. Come outside and stumbles. Gets away to the 25 and then gets hit on a bone-shattering tackle by Roosevelt Colbert, who caught him in the open field at the 28-yard line. He slipped away from Michael Davis 
could not escape Roosevelt Colbert. He did more than that. He slipped away from John Garrett initially. John got sucked in a little bit and then missed by the linebacker Davis, but number 30, Roosevelt Colbert, with a real stinging hit there to put him down. Hope is a small quarterback at 5'9 and 160, a junior from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Junior college transfer. The football marked a shy of the 28-yard line, and now the whistle sound. Well, I didn't see any flag. Delay of game. Oh, yeah, in the back. So Tech needing only a couple of yards for first down. Now we'll be looking at a third and seven. And that really is a bigger penalty than you think. Down by two touchdowns here early, Dick. Uh, third and two, now it's third and seven. So those are the things that keep you from a productive drive. Tech coming into the game with a record of one and nine. Their big win this season was over Moorhead, and they scored 59 points in that game. And up to that point, through their first four or five ball games total, they had scored 59. That's been their high water mark. That's been, uh, been a tough season for the Eagles. They're down almost eight yards to go now for Tech, and Pope fumbles the snap from center, falls on the football, and now Tech will be fourth and seven. And notice how quickly they get this get the punt punting team in and they get the punt underway they give you very little time to set up for anything Griffin going back they know of course that the Raiders are a blocking team but although we're on the return end here Meadows will get it away and just barely and we've got a penalty marker down as Griffin takes it at the 30 yard line and goes to the sideline and is run out of bounds over in front of the Raider bench we will have a roughing the kicker penalty coming up if it's not a 15 yarder it will still be fourth down. It was fourth and seven back at the 23. So let's we'll just have to see what the severity of the penalty is. We had a return called. Uh, you can tell that obviously by the number of people dropping back. And Dino from the right defensive end situation crashed in. I thought he decided to be a one-man wrecking crew that time. And he did clip the leg and the follow through by the punter. 2.02 the time remaining first quarter. It will be a 15-yard penalty. And that will bring the ball out to the 37-yard line where Tech will have it first and 10 at that point. Raiders leading 14 to nothing here in the first quarter, trying to complete an undefeated season. 10-0 going in. Conference championship already in the lockbox and waiting for the playoffs to begin. The football at the 37. Tech first and 10. Pope the quarterback. Hayward the fullback, Rivers and Turner the running backs. Now give it to the fullback Hayward, hit at the line and then stepping through the line across the 40 up to the 43 yard line where Kenny McDaniel brought him down. He was slowed down initially but then broke away from the grasp of uh, the Raider defender and came through for seven yards to the 44. He was stopped at the original hole totally and then he saw an opening to his right to his right and moved across it into some daylight. The center is Kelly Averett, a sophomore from Lebanon over the football from the 44-yard line. A fumble by Pope. Pope scrambles for the ball and recovers. That's the second as time. As Deulius now. made a dive for it, but Pope got it back. That is the second uh, fumble of the snap by Pope. The other was on a third down play. Both have been uh, of his making from what we could see. Loss of a yard, it'll be third down and four for Tennessee Tech at the Golden Eagle 43-yard line. Good crowd from Cookville here across the way. And yeah, a very, we good, very good crowd on the home side. Did not have a good advanced ticket sale, uh, but here people have shown up anyway. Third down, Tech at the 43. Back to throw, Pope slips and down he goes. Kenny McDaniel was back there to see that he didn't go anywhere, but I think his he probably would have touched down anyway. It's back at the 39, so it's a loss of four. Might have saved himself a, a real deep sack and a hard-hitting sack by McDaniel, but he did slip. Fourth and eight. Now Meadows back to kick once again, and again gets the kick away very quickly. Off the side of his foot, it'll be a poor kick, and will bounce around the 30-yard line. Tech's going to let it roll across the 25. It'll be down around the 22-yard line, where the Raiders will take over first and 10. We have... Less than a minute to play in the first quarter, and the Raiders are on top by a score of 14 to nothing. We mentioned before the game started that the home team has not won in this series in five years. 
I think most of you remember two years ago. Oh, yes. The Raiders came in needing a win to pick up a share of the OVC championship and Tech won by a score of 12-8. Ball at the 22. First down as Collier takes, fakes to the fullback, runs the option, gets hit as he reaches the 23 and then driven back as big Donald Snyder, the defensive tackle, and Hampton, the other tackle, Hampton leading the charge. A starter from last year, senior three-year letterman from Trenton, Tennessee, played at Peabody High School there. That's the end of the first quarter for the score. Middle Tennessee, 14, Tennessee Tech, nothing. Back with second quarter action in 60 seconds on the Blue Raider Sports Network. Work through. We start the second period, Raiders second and nine, as Collier takes and runs the option and gets hit behind the line and brought down for no gain. That was Cedric Hampton once again, the defensive tackle who made the last tackle of the first quarter, makes the first stop in the second quarter. Jake, uh, through this season, 11 football games now in the first quarter, we've outscored our opposition in quarter number one, 97 to three. It makes sense to get off to a good start, doesn't it? And we have done that. Now third down nine as the Raiders play from their 23-yard line with a slot to the right or wide side. Alford is wide. Garrett self in the slot. The back's offset. Kyle, you're drifting toward the wide side. May run it at the 20, 25, 30, and gets out of bounds as he reaches the 35-yard line for a first down. Danny Crooks, senior strong safety from Jamestown, Tennessee, ran him out, but not before... Marvin Collier rambles for 12 yards and a Raider first down. It has to be the difference when you have a mobile quarterback that can move a pocket for you, can also scramble for first down yardage. It's a weapon that not many teams have, Dick, and it's really made a difference in our offense here in 1985. Tennessee Tech defensively number eight in the conference in overall team defense, number eight against the rush, number one against the pass. Well, stats, when you, you don't can run, why throw? That's right. Ball at the 35. Let's throw. Collier is in trouble. Going to be hit back at the 29-yard line. Squires, the defensive end, a junior from Merritt, North Carolina, pinned Collier down back at the 29-yard line for a six-yard loss. Cecil Andrews was supposed to kick out that time and take the defensive end. Did not get there in time. It's not that he made a poor block. He just did not get there. And when you don't have the angle, that's what happens. Those of you watching on television on the replay with the benefit of uh, some instant replay, which Ooh, that makes a big difference. It's very nice, and we thank our friends in Cookville providing the... Dick Castle was their fella. Providing the video portion. Second down, 16. Raiders at the 29. Collier straight drop back. Going to screen it to burst at the 25. Burst at the 30. Burst at the 35. Six, seven-yard line. And down there as Snyder, the defensive tackle, a senior from Scott City, Kansas, brought him down. And again, will be eight, be seven yards to the 36. So it'll bring up a third and nine at that point. Tony will become uh, our third leading pass receiver on the team. That's his 13th reception on the year, and most of it's been done on the screen pass. And it's been a very effective way for Tony to get open. Once he gets open, very tough to bring down. Third and nine for the Raiders at the 36, their own territory. Collier rolls left, turns, looks in trouble. Finally gets a block, it's an ice block to free him momentarily. Still in trouble back at the 30 and is gonna be free now to the 25, now to the 30. He's gonna throw it long for Dante Lofton at the 20. Incomplete, broken up down there by Ron Jurek. And what a scramble by Marvin Collier, who seemed to stay in the backfield for just a minute indeterminable length of time before finally spotting Lofton down there. He apparently had Vaseline on the pants that time, Dick. No one could come close to him, but give Jurek a lot of credit when this ball is finally released because of the amount of time that our receivers had. You have to give him a lot of credit for coming over there and breaking that pass up. Even though the play was unsuccessful, the Raider supporters down below gave Collier and the Raider offensive unit a great hand as they left the field for their determination as Mark Morrison is in the game to punt for the first time. Line of scrimmage is the 36, he gets it away, and it's a good spiraling kick, fair catch being called for, and then fumble! Raiders pick it up, and the Raiders are gonna have it as number 57, Rick Murphy, falls on the ball. Rick Murphy Mur recovers for the Raiders Murphy's, inside the 25. Dick Murphy's been around that ball on punt 
coverage for a long time. He's made some key hits this year, and there he is, a poor catch. And Tech came in, one of the better parts of their game, Dick, has been the punt game. They've rejected eight punts by the opposition, and they're paying for it right now. The Raider offensive unit, which just went off the field, now back on and in business at the Tech 23-yard line. How about the punt, George? That punt was good for 39 yards. They fumble and recovery by Murphy, and the Raiders have it first and 10 at the Tech 23-yard line. They get out of the eye. Burst gets the call to the 20, burst to the 15, burst to the 10, burst down at the 9-yard line. Fullback Tony Burst running straight ahead. It finally took Danny Crooks, the strong safety, to bring him down at the 9-yard line, and the Raiders will be first and goal. Every time Tony touches the ball, he averages nearly five yards a carry. He has not carried the ball much this season. Dick, when you have tailbacks that we have in Stone and Anderson, you're not likely to see the ball very often. Now, Hagee wide to the left side. Garrett Self flanked into the boundary on the right side from the nine-yard line. Collier takes to Anderson. Anderson's going to score. Anderson broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage and went in virtually untouched for the touchdown, and the Raiders lead by a score. Of 20 to nothing, Anderson picking up touchdown number two today. Anderson, Gerald Anderson time had no trouble at all. Everything was wiped out in front of him, and so all he did is high step the ball into the end zone. That touchdown comes with 11.56 to play in the first half. Puts the Raiders up 20 to nothing. Dick Martin to attempt the point after he missed the kick on his first attempt. Ball is snapped in the kick by. Martin is good. And now the Raiders lead by a score of 21 to nothing. And we'll be back with the Raider kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Services Unlimited. You name it, we do it. Office and home cleaning. We'll clean your home or office to give you that professional look. We wash windows and do all types of maintenance. Commercial or residential painting and carpentry are another of our specialties. We'll also provide a complete landscape and maintain the upkeep. And our lawn care service will mow yards, rake leaves, and take out dead trees and shrubs. That's Services Unlimited, 895-0477. Here's Dick Martin's kickoff. Boots it deep, and that one will go into the end zone, and we'll be down there. And Tech will start at the 20-yard line. The uh, really the only major injury to come out of practice this week. It was uh, our head trainer, George Camp, went down. Gerald Anderson scooted around one side and knocked a person into George. I understand ligament damage on the knee, and didn't get a lot of sympathy. I understand down at the sideline from some of his fellow uh, student trainers. Understand that knee braces will be mandatory for the training crew for the rest yes, of the season. Yes, the entire training, uh, student training crew wore outside knee braces to the next day's practice. Tech for the ball at the 20-yard line, first and 10, following the kickoff, which went into the end zone. Hope handing to Hayward. Hayward goes straight ahead for two, maybe three yards. Well, so far, the wishbone has done nothing to uh, excite the Tennessee Tech offensive crowd because we have just been there to snuff everything out at the line. Doug Althaus, who's uh, in at a defensive guard position, and Kenny McDaniel combined on the tackle that time. It'll be second and eight. Tech at the 22. Wide to the left side is Goodlow. Tight end is set right in the wishbone backfield. Again, it's the fullback, Hayward, running off tackle and gets a couple of yards up near the 25. Once again, McDaniel in on the tackle for the Raiders. Coach Donnelly was mentioning that Tech came in with a lot more speed offensively. You have to get by the line of scrimmage to show the speed sometimes, Dick, and they haven't been able to do that. It's third and six, all at the 24-yard line. 10.50 to play in the first half. Raiders on top by a score of 21 to nothing. 
Get out of that wishbone. Here's Pope giving to the fullback, and Hayward's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and driven back. Deulius was there, Althaus was there, and Robert Frazier was there. Well, three straight calls, Dick, and give to the fullback and give it to him and give it to him, and nothing, nothing, and nothing. The horse, though, has picked up, what, a 1,000 yards almost for the year, so you have to go with what you have, and apparently that's what they have. It is fourth and five. Meadows in, penalty marker down, kick away. Griffin waiting at the 33. Griffin looking for a block, swinging outside, and is going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's very excellent punt coverage by Tennessee Tech after that first touchdown. You know their ears were burning when that happened. Penalty marker's down on the field and was thrown near the line of scrimmage. We may have time to sneak in some first quarter stats now. All right, Dick. First quarter, the Raiders had 90 total offensive yards to only 35 for Tech. The Raiders got theirs on the ground, 46 and 11 carries, 2-2 two two in the air for 44 yards. Tech got all their yardage on the ground, 35 yards and 15 carries. Four first downs for the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders, two for Tennessee Tech. Raiders were 2-2 two two on third down conversion, Tech 0-4. Uh, fumbles, Raiders fumbled once, lost the ball. Tech fumbled four times, losing it once. Raiders didn't punt. Tech punted three times, averaging 49 yards per punt. The Raiders had five minutes and 34 seconds time of possession to 9.26 for Tech in the first quarter. Tech's going to get to kick it again. Procedure call. They set up so quickly, someone must not have been set. Now here's Meadows. Low snap. Gets it away again. It's this time much shorter. Griffin takes it on the run and then falls on the ball up at the 40 eight yard line so the Raiders pick up about 13 yards by accepting that uh, five yard penalty. I think Griffin had an idea. Did you see a fair catch on that Dick or not? I, I saw movement of the hand but I couldn't tell whether it was a fair catch or not. And I don't think the officials could either. Raiders start at the 48 yard line. Excellent position on the field. Leading 21 to nothing. 8.55 remaining until intermission. Marvin Collier, the quarterback, number three. Doug Hennemeyer over the ball at center. He's checking off now. Gives to the tailback straight ahead across the 50-yard line. Anderson down to the Tech 45 and forward to the 44-yard line. Kevin Baker that time in at fullback just eliminated the linebacker Rutledge and that opened up the hole. So Baker in there doing some of the horse work and replacing Tony Burse. Second and two at the Tech 44 yard line. Their offensive tackle David Kersell is out of there now. Big Cox is in. Here's Collier back to throw, faking, running to the 50 to the 45 and runs out of bounds at the 42 yard line. Rutledge, the linebacker, ran him out of bounds. I didn't really see when Kersell left the game, but he has been replaced by Cox, the Raiders number 76, Mike Cox, 6'5", 260, a junior from Chickamauga, Georgia. It's going to be third and very short. Third and a yard, less than a yard for first down. Near the Tech 42-yard line, Raiders three tight end offense again. Clark set as a wing on the left side. The tailback's got the first down. Anderson across the 40 down near the Tennessee Tech 38 yard line. Now Purcell's coming back into the lineup and Cox will come out. Spot is at the 37, a five yard pickup. Steve Olivero, the linebacker, and Barry Wilmore, the defensive end, making the tackle for the Golden Eagles on that play. Tech in the gold football pants, the white jerseys, maroon and gold trim, Raiders in the blue and the gray pants. They give to Baker. Baker can't find any running room, goes the other way and gets tripped up and will probably lose a yard on the play. The ball squirted free and Raiders over there to cover it back at the 38-yard line. So it'll be a loss of a yard, second and 11. Baker, one of 13 seniors, seeing final action today. Most of them starters, too, Dick. 
And if you count the specialty teams, they're all starters. Kyle Hagee wide to the left side. Garrett Self in the slot. Raiders second and 11 at the Tech 38-yard line. Out of the eye. Five-man defensive front for the Golden Eagles. As spinning as Collier fires the pass in the flat to Powell Hagee. Caught at the 35, down near the 30-yard line. The senior wideout, Ray Powell Hagee. Again, it was Wilmore, the defensive end, making the stop for the Golden Eagles. They spot the football at the 31, so that's a seven-yard pickup. Brings up a third and four for the Raiders. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Raiders on top by a score of 21 to nothing. Get out of the eye. Collier fakes to the fullback, gives to the tailback, into the middle of the line. Anderson wow. dancing through there for two, three yards down near the 27 and close to a first down goes Anderson. Free safety or the strong safety, Danny Crooks, number 33 on the tackle. Officials line it up, take a look. It is a first down for the Raiders at the Tennessee Tech 27-yard line. This drive started on the Raider 48 after a Tennessee Tech punt. 21-0 lead for the Raiders as Pal Hagee goes wide right. And Garrett Self left he is in motion out of the wide side first down play from the 27 Collier gives to the tailback Anderson tripped up as he goes into the line reaches the 25 yard line squires the defensive end caught his ankle as he went in and tripped him up gets credit for the tackle and a two yard gain for Anderson Anderson may have reached the 1000 yard mark Already, George, he needed uh, only about 30 yards. He's 21, Dick. He now has 62 yards and 13 carries. Well, he's working on 1,100 now. Second and eight at the 25. Here's Collier. Again, Anderson. Anderson tripped up as he crosses the 25 down near the 22-yard line. Rutledge, the linebacker, a freshman from nearby Gallatin, Tennessee, first man to hit him. Two defensive ends also in on the play. Gain of three down to the 22 will make it a third and five for the Raiders. We continue to tack uh, inside, very much inside, Dick, something we haven't done in the last few weeks very successfully. Al Hagee wide to the right. Self is in the slot. As this time Collier pitches it out. Anderson going wide, and he is hit behind the line, and that again was Squires with a good open field tackle as the Raiders that time went Tried to go outside, and Anderson dropped for a loss back to the 25, a three-yard loss. It'll bring up fourth and eight, and will bring Dick Martin in to attempt a field goal. Martin, the freshman, will attempt a 42-yard field goal out of the hold of Mark Morrison. I thought he set the tone for the entire Akron game when he hit that first field goal up in Ohio. Ball is snapped. The kick's on the tee. It has plenty of distance. The kick by Martin is good. Dick Martin with a 42-yard field goal, and the Raiders lead by a score of 24 to nothing. Back with the Raider kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. the right car van for the right occasion. That's what Tennessee Car and Van Rental offers. Economy or luxury. A van for the family weekend outing or a van to carry the team to a big game. And with their low rates, you'll still have plenty of pocket money to enjoy the trip. Tennessee Car and Van Rental also offers a wide range of late model cars from economy to luxury, from family to a sports car. Come see us at Tennessee Car and Van Rental, 1229 Northwest Broad in Murfreesboro, our 2414 Lebanon Road in Nashville. With the seasons changing, you can protect your car from sun, sleet, snow, and leaf stains with a Halmet carport from Home Building Products. Freestanding or attached, Halmet carports are available in white and three wood grain colors. For the backyard, Halmet skylight patio covers are perfect for your outdoor pleasure. These patio covers are installed to match your home and to fit your needs. So for protection, low maintenance, and outdoor fun, rely on Halmet carports and patio covers from Home Building Products located at 226 West Castle Street in Murfreesboro. Martin set to kick off, and as usual, kicking from the 
right hash mark as the Raiders kickoff team views it. Rivers and Goodlow are the deep backs. This time a low kick. Rivers will pick it up. It goes into the end zone. Then he downs it there. And they'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. So Tennessee Tech, which has had very little uh, production offensively, will have the football once again at the 20. This will be their sixth possession of the first half. All but one of those, Dick, have started at the 20 or inside, the other one at the 37. Now they've got Fisher back in there at quarterback. He was the starter. Brent Fisher, sophomore, gives to the fullback. Hayward, 25, 26, 7, 8 yard line. Good yardage up the middle. Michael Davis, the linebacker from Nashville, brought Hayward down, but not uh, before the big junior running back picked up eight yards straight ahead. Second down and two for the Golden Eagles. Raiders have number 38, Vince Johnson, in at the right defensive end position. Frazier is checked out for the moment. Garrett is the defensive end on the other side. Right now, four down linemen for the Raiders on second and two. Fake to the fullback. Fisher running and just spinning across the 30-yard line for first down yardage for Tennessee Tech. John Garrett, the defensive end on that side, brought him down. And Tech will be first and 10 from the 30-yard line. 24-0, Raider lead, just over four minutes remaining here in the first half of play. Eagles send Terry Goodlow wide to the left side. They're playing with three running backs out of that wishbone. Strong left, fake to the fullback. Fisher spinning into the line will come up with a couple of yards. And the grasp of John Garrett once again is Garrett was there to jam it up along with Raider number 98, Doug Althouse. It's important for Tech, I think, Dick, to go on the board before the half with the wishbone offense, and they have not had a passing game all year. They, they really don't have many alternatives. You really have to run the ball, and if they get some success here on this drive and able to put something on the board, they can go to the locker room with a slim, uh, slim amount of hope. It is second and eight at the 32-yard line. Fisher takes a look. Fisher fakes, gets hit behind the line and down, and that is Vince Johnson. How about that quickness of Vince Johnson? The lightning quickness created that, really, what turns out to be a sack, although it's not credited as a sack. The ball will be marked back at the 30 and will bring up a third and 10. Now, loss of two yards on the play as Johnson caught the quarterback from behind. Vince Johnson a walk-on. He's a redshirt freshman from Knoxville. He won't be a walk-on next year. Played at Austin East High School. Third and 10. Throwing situation for the Eagles now as they play from the 30-yard line. Fisher drops straight back. Looks, now runs out of the pocket to the 30, to the 35, and is going to be stopped. Depending on the mark of the ball, he'll be very close to a first down. Kenny McDaniel will uh, get credit slid. for the tackle. He skidded quite a ways. He'll be a yard shy at the 39. It'll be fourth down and one for Tech as coming in once again, Scott Meadows to do the punting. Don Griffin dropping back for the Raiders, gets the snap, gets it away. Good floating kick, fair catch called for and taken by Griffin back at the 10 yard line. So with just a couple of minutes remaining in the first half, the Raiders 24 to nothing lead and they'll have it at their own 11 yard line. A lot of people come in for the Tech game every year who perhaps uh, may not have seen a Raider game. This is similar to homecoming. It draws a lot of uh, old grads and alumni because it is a very traditional game. Single bat, uh, back set now for the Raiders, something you don't see very often. Line of scrimmage is the 11. Baker back there. They'll give it on a handoff to Dwight Stone running out of a wing back spot, crosses the 20 and up across the 25 and near the 30 yard line that's uh, a new short play reverse. Yes. i think that real no i don't think it was a new play that's their short reverse usually Pittman gets the ball remember they took Pittman out and put dwight stone there 
So that's what that was, and he picks up good yardage. Right, good shoulder into the cornerback of Tech and gets first down yardage. Junior running back, junior college transfer. Got 18 yards, and the Raiders first and 10 now at the 29. Backs offset. Out here back to throw. Looks, runs out of the pocket, and now he's going to get hit behind the line. Hampton, the defensive tackle, brought him down back there at the 27-yard line. A minute 25 remaining in the first half. Raiders on top, 24 to nothing. McLean that time coming from the left side, wide open. Nobody touched him. And he created the pressure that forced Marvin to come back upfield and eventually led to the tackle. Second and 11. Ball at the 28-yard line. Pal Hagee wide to the right side. Pittman flanked left. And the Raiders on second down, giving on the delayed handoff to Stone. Stone across the 30, 35, up to the 36, 37-yard line. Stone running hard. Speaking of junior college transfers, as Stone is, the Tech roster is literally dotted with junior college players, and they have uh, sought to rebuild their program that way. They've got uh, 14, 15 junior college players on their roster. And uh, like uh, Moorhead State also, and neither have been really very successful in doing that. Stone has been sitting the bench a lot more the last few weeks, Dick, and you can see a real emphasis here on his part of driving, trying to pick up extra yardage. Third and two, tailback Stone. Stone up to the 40, up to the 43-yard line. Got a first down, and the Raider drive is alive with less than a minute to play in the first half. Tim Mabin, the cornerback, brought him down. I think that's down to about 10 seconds, isn't it? That'll be it. Could have been the last play of the first half. Clock running down, and it's halftime at Jones Field. A halftime score, Middle Tennessee 24, and Tennessee Tech nothing. We'll take a two-minute break for our stations down the line. Back to recap the first half in two minutes on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Big car, small car, big truck, little truck, a large van, a small van, or even a sporty car. Whatever your driving needs, come to Matthew Motors. Our late model used cars are local hand-picked vehicles and feature 12-month or 12,000-mile warranty at no extra cost. Matthew Motors in Murfreesboro, across from Richard Smith Buick, will even arrange one-day financing. Remember, for a better deal, come to Matthew Motors, where our name means value. Services Unlimited. You name it, we do it. Office and home cleaning. We'll clean your home or office to give you that professional look. We wash windows and do all types of maintenance. Commercial or residential painting and carpentry are another of our specialties. We'll also provide a complete landscape and maintain the upkeep. And our lawn care service will mow yards, rake leaves, and take out dead trees and shrubs. That's Services Unlimited, 895-0477. The home team has had trouble winning. Back in 1979, Coach Donnelly's uh, first year, the Raiders did win here at home, 17 to 14. In 1980, at uh, Tennessee Tech, the Raiders won 21 to 7. 1981, here it was 28 to 9. Tennessee Tech winning. 82 at Cookville. Who can forget the blocked punt by? Manuel Tolles that gave the Raiders a 10 to three victory in the fading seconds of that game. 1983 here, perhaps the most disappointing loss, at least to my recollection, John, uh, since we've been doing the games, a 12-8 loss to Tennessee Tech here in uh, 83, which cost the Raiders a share of the conference title. Well, it was a double kill. It also cost us the playoffs. And last year, the Raiders in the big Tech Busters game in Cookville winning by a score of 28 to 10. The Raiders lead 24 to nothing at halftime. It's not over yet as we uh, enjoy a 24 to nothing halftime advantage, but uh, certainly been a very pleasurable first half. I don't know what you do if you're Tennessee Tech and you're not a passing team and down by, boy, 24 points. You go upstairs with it in you know, something you're not used to doing and haven't been successful with. I think you're going to get burned. Akron proved that a week ago. So what do we do and if you're a Tennessee Tech coaching staff? I don't know. I don't know that there's an answer right now to face these Raiders. We had a report from Honolulu earlier in the broadcast on the Blue Raider basketball team. 95-81 winners over Brigham Young, Hawaii last night. Cooksey with 22. 
And they will play the University of Minnesota tonight out of the Big Ten and will play West Virginia State Monday night. And then we'll open up uh, our continental United States <laughs> schedule. Yeah, in other words, equate that. That's our broadcast schedule, next, folks. Next <laughs> Friday night in Memphis against we the University. We don't have an intercontinental broadcast <laughs> schedule. Against the University of South Carolina. Other games in the OVC tonight will have Austin P opening under their new coach, Lake Kelly. They'll open at home against Tusculum. Moorhead opens at home against Franklin. Youngstown opens at home tonight against Clarion College. So the OVC basketball season getting underway on several fronts tonight. And we'll be uh, with you from Memphis next uh, Friday night for Blue Raider basketball. Larry Joe Inman, by the way, his uh, team gets on the bus tomorrow. 14 days are going to be on that bus. And turn not the whole time, of course, but 14 days of travel. The Raiders will be receiving the second half kickoff. Tech will be kicking off for the first time. Bruce Winningham getting his first action. He is their kicker. And Robert Alford will be standing at the goal line awaiting the kick by Winningham. Robert uh, perhaps feels pretty useless back there. We haven't had much chores on this uh, side of the football. Here's the kick by Winningham. It is returnable. Alford is waiting and takes it at the six. Comes to the 10, offered to the 15, and will get hit shy of the 20-yard line and downed there. First time that uh, Alford has had an opportunity to return one in quite a while. Hurd brought him down. All at the 18-yard line. That's where the Raiders will start the series here in the second half. You're right, Dick. Last week, we didn't even receive a kickoff. That's the way Coach Donnelly likes it. Pitch back to Anderson. Anderson at the 20, tripped up as he crosses the 20-yard line, falls to the 22, and that's a four-yard gain. Anderson was really just a shoelace away that time, Dick, from picking up big yardage. Just enough was he knocked off balance to prevent him from breaking it. It'll be second and six at the 22-yard line. Garrett Self. Bringing in the play from the Raider bench. Raiders use the wideouts to ferry the plays in. Al Hagee wide to the left side. Self flank to the right side. Backs in the eye. Give to Anderson the tailback. Yeah, that time he ran into a defender, Rutledge, the linebacker. Or Snyder it was. Defensive tackle number 89. A senior 6'5", 240 from Scott City, Kansas. And the gain on the play, zero. Well, when we get the lead like we have right now, just as in Akron, of course, the wind was such a factor a week ago. The usual game plan is to sit on the football, Dick. Let's see what happens here on third down. Raiders are third and six at the 22-yard line, leading 24 to nothing. Slot to the left side with Pittman in the slot. Kyle Hagee is the wide out. Collier's going back to throw on third down. Can't find anybody and is going to be hit, gets away, and then gets hit again and will be brought down around the 24. Tell you what, Marvin that time really didn't wait for anything to develop, and he wasn't really pressured. He's really getting, I guess what I would call antsy feet. He doesn't sit in the pocket at all. He starts to move immediately without pressure, and that, that's not good. The two defensive ends, Wilmore and Squires, combined for the tackle. Fourth and four at the 24, and Mark Morrison will be in punt formation. Ooh, here comes Tennessee Tech to block. They have block eight this year. That's a school record, by the way. Kenneth Gilstrap is the deep man for Tennessee Tech. Good snap. Morrison gets it away. Gets knocked down. Penalty marker down. And Gilstrap takes it at the 30-yard line, but Tennessee Tech will draw a roughing the kicker penalty as the Raiders did in the first half. I don't see any reason why not, uh, why not to go after it. That was a calculated risk. If they block this kick, Dick, they either have six points or a field goal on them almost automatic. So that was a good call on Coach Darnell's part. It just didn't work out. Raiders leading 24 to nothing very early in the third quarter. Would have been a good punt by Morrison. It was good for 46. And Mark laying on the ground clapping after he got knocked down. He didn't have to act on that one, though, did he? That's a five-yard penalty. And the Raiders will have it at the 29-yard line. Tech 
earlier in the game when the Raiders were called for roughing the kicker, got a 15-yard walk-off. It's too easy to judge those two penalties in a game like this when it happened. I think they should have one penalty whichever way they want to go, but it's a very poor, puts an official in a bad spot. Split the difference and call it 10. First down. Out your short toss, incomplete. Danny Crooks got a hand on it, number 33, the strong safety intended for Powell Hagee. Little short toss out in the flat. Marvin again, the second and ten. Marvin again has not thrown the ball very often, six times here, completed four, but he's not been passing uh, very much at all in the recent few games. You have to wonder in playoff considerations, you know he's going to have to throw the ball eventually in the uh, many situations in the playoffs. Coach Donnelly facing the sidelines. When doesn't he do that? Second and 10 at the 29. Man in motion, Garrett Self, sprint draw. Anderson's got five, twisting, turning up to the 40 and fighting for first down yardage perhaps. At the 40 yard line, Gerald Anderson. The Raiders sophomore tailback running very hard. They'll line it up, it's a first down. Rutledge, the linebacker, finally brought him down after an 11-yard gain. First and 10 Raiders at the 40-yard line. Dick, what's different about the field? Let's see your uh, observation abilities today. It's dry. Well, it's also very much easier to see the hash marks, yes, isn't it? it is. I believe they've got a paint job on them. Here's Collier. Here we got a handoff burst through for 5, 10, 15 yards, and down across the... Tech 45 down to the 42 yard line in Eagle territory. A quick opener for Tony Burst, the fullback. Thompson, the cornerback, brought him down. It can only be a quick opener when there's a hole and Tony just virtually goes untouched. Spurling over there, shielding. Pittman helping up. Tremendous blocking by the Raider line. 18 yard pickup for Tony Burst, and the Raiders are first and 10 at the Tech 42 yard line. Doug Hedemeyer over the ball at center. And the fake to the fullback, give to Anderson. Anderson can't find a hole that time, and he's going to be dropped. Crooks from the strong safety, and Snyder the tackle, and Squires the defensive end, combining for the tackle loss of a yard, that, second and 11. That time, the particular hole, there's just nothing there. The Raiders were backed up the offensive line. Anderson had no chance trying to cut to the outside, but Tech was there with good pursuit. 11-15, the time remaining in the third quarter. Raiders on top, 24 to nothing. Second and 11. Ball at the Tech 43-yard line. Slot to the left side. Here is Collier. Collier faking, going back to throw. Rolling left, fires the pass. Incomplete intended for Pittman. Penalty marker down. Pittman was down at the 28-yard line, and the ball short of the mark. Once again, Marvin had a very poor pass. That ball was wobble all the way. He's had some wobble problems in the past. Wobble problem? Well, remember at Akron, they stopped throwing the ball. His first pass was one of those wobble passes. And here, look at this now. That's the same thing. That's a wobble no, problem. No control on the ball. That's a WP in the uh, coaching lingo. Raiders take a 10-yard penalty for holding. That'll put the ball back at the Raider 47. They get second down and 21 now. Raiders need to go the Tech 32 for first down. Second and 21. Kyle Hagee wide to the left side. Self is flanked right. Straight back to throw. Collier screens it now, and it's incomplete. Threw it too high. And the intended receiver over there, who was the tailback, Anderson. Anderson, leaped for the ball. and couldn't come down with it. Well, even if he had, any time the running back must take an extra time or motion to catch the ball because it's too high or too low, you destroy the timing. You have to get out there before the Tech defenders can react. So either way, that was going to be a losing proposition. The Raider wave in motion down below. Third and 21. Maybe the Raider ripple. Slot left. 24 to nothing Raider lead. We are still early in the third quarter. Fake to the tailback. Collier looking, standing in the pocket, throwing. Got an open man. That's Dante Lofton at the 35, and he's close to a first down. Down at the Tech 30 yard line. Dante Phil, the linebacker, brought him down. Dante Lofton and Mike Clark, one of two tight ends that uh, will be graduating. In fact, one of three. Greg Bullock, the other. And you can't underestimate the contributions all three have given the Raider program over the last few years. 
The Raiders get a first down at the 31-yard line. Collier had all day to stand out there and stand back and try and pick out an open man. So a first and 10 at the Tech 31. Pittman goes left. Kyle Hagee right. Burst the fullback, Anderson the tailback. Give to Anderson, Anderson 30, 25, tripped up as he went through there or he might have gotten more. Defensive end Squires put the uh, hit on him which brought him down at the 21, close to a first down there. Inemeyer that time doing some damage to the man opposite him, the nose guard, picket spurling. Mm. They're going to bring the chains into measure, although our PA announcer has already called it. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Talbert is psychic. <laughs> We're next door to him and giving him a little heat. Is it a first down? Well, he's justified. He's justified. First and 10 Raiders at the Tech 21 yard line. Alford checks in for the Raiders for Garrett Self. Kevin Baker's coming at fullback now. Remember, Tony's been uh, hurt with that turf toe of late, and he was not doing well late in the game at Akron, so Kevin in there quite a bit. Lofton is at tight end. A reverse to Alford. Alford tripped up. Great tackle by in the open field by Willie Thompson, the cornerback from Jackson, Tennessee. And no gain on the play. That might be the only thing that saved a big gainer was uh, holding his position. Tremendous opportunity there by the tech man. Thompson, a very good job. Thompson is a senior, six feet, 170. That's his only job at that time. Wait for the ball to come back at you, and he did. Second and 10 now, Raiders at the Tech 21. Tech plays the basic 52 defense. And they're in that five-man line as Self goes in motion. Codder on the delayed handoff. Anderson at the 20, changes direction, goes to the 15-yard line. Squires the defensive end, Thompson the cornerback. Jurek from the free safety. Gain of six yards to the 15. It'll bring up a third and four for the Raiders. At the 15 yard line, eight and a half minutes remaining. Tech has not had the football, John, in the second half. So you can't score without the football and down by as much as they are. Everything working against the gold and purple here this afternoon. Garrett Self coming out, shaking up a bit. He's over on the bench being administered to by the student trainers. May have received a cut to give on the handoff to Turney Burst. Takes it down inside the 10 for a Raider first down. Hampton, the defensive tackle, and Crooks, the strong safety. They mark it at the nine. That's a six-yard gain. First and goal for the Raiders at the nine-yard line. This drive started at the Raider 18, helped along by roughing the kicker penalty on a fourth down punt. Raiders are now at the nine. Collier back looking into the end zone, and he is blindsided. And knocked down very hard by Squires, number 55. And this young man who is a junior, junior college transfer, Thomas Squires, as if you're, for our television audience, you can see the blind side hit there by Squires. He's played a tremendous football game from his defensive end position. Loss of four yards back to the 13. It is second and goal. Tight end is Dante Lofton. Slot to the left side. Pitch back. Anderson to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Still on his feet. Scores! Stone. Dwight Stone, Stone it was. Dwight Stone, Stone going. Hey, how about that? We've got toilet paper coming down. That's a sore <laughs> subject with many at middle, but that's from our crowd. Some toilet paper coming down. Dwight, that time with second and third effort. He gets contacted a couple of times uh, below the knees. But that's not the way to bring down that junior college transfer. The White Stone, great balance. Pirouetting all the way into the end zone, and the Raiders are up. Four. 30 to nothing. That's touchdown number 12 for Stone. He and Anderson having quite a duel for the scoring lead on the team, although that's really not important. The extra point kick by Martin is good, and the Raiders now lead by a score of 31 to nothing. Score coming with 7.08 remaining in the third quarter. We'll be back with the Raider kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network.
Do you know what all these people have in common? They're all members of the National Rifle Association. Why have three million Americans joined the NRA? For just $15, you receive full membership, which includes $300 gun theft insurance, $10,000 accidental death and dismemberment insurance, $100,000 free shooter's liability insurance, and your choice of NRA's official magazines, the American Hunter or the American Rifleman. NRA is easily the shooter's biggest bargain, so why not join now? To join the NRA, simply dial the toll-free number on your screen. Join the NRA today and get an NRA shooter's cap free. To join, call toll-free 1-800-453-7200. 1-800-453-7200. People have asked me, Dick, why does George sound so different or distance? We just have different equipment up here, you and I with one set of headphones, George another. That's the explanation. We'd like to get number three, but we just don't have it in the budget right now. It's nice to know people are concerned about George. Well, Thank no, you. not about George, about why it sounds different. 7.08 remaining in the first half. The kickoff goes into the end zone, and Tech will start this drive as it did many drives in the first half from its 20-yard line. Now you just try to get through the rest of the ball game if you're Tech almost. Fisher, of course, uh, coming back in. He didn't play that poorly last year. Remember last year the ball game was very much in question, very tight through about two and a half quarters, Dick, and then all of a sudden, bam, bam, Hall ended the ball game in the third quarter for the Raiders. Out of the wishbone. You keep your eye on Hayward, the fullback. However, he's going to throw Fisher pass incomplete. DeWan Buford hitting the Intended receiver Terry Goodlow just as he was receiving the ball and jarring it free the pass goes incomplete And is that the first tech pass George? Yes, it is Tech's initial pass the ball game Thrown pretty well by the quarterback Fisher, but Buford was there to knock it away from the receiver second and ten tech on the 20-yard line They have Goodlow coming wide to the left side now. They're going with Wide outs to either side as the give is to the fullback. Kenny McDaniel makes the stop along with John Garrett. Hayward carrying the football up across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Pickup of seven. Going to bring up a third and three. Dick, you talk about a secondary that's been effective. We, of course, have set a new team record with our 24 intercepts. Three better than a year ago. Some more records will fall before this season is over. Third down three. Tech needing three yards to keep the drive going. Asks Hayward and he responds. Takes it over the 35 and is finally brought down up near the 40 yard line. Dewan Buford and Robert Frazier was there. But a first down for the Eagles up at the 40. One of the very few times here this afternoon that they have punched through a hole through our line and linebackers, and Hayward did just that. One of the very few times our secondary shoulders have had to come in contact with the fullback to make initial contact. One of several players recruited by Coach Darnell from Kansas. He is from Manhattan, Kansas. Kansas seems to be in the news of late. Caught at the 40-yard line. That state, anyway. First and 10. Greater defense moving around a little bit. Almost anticipated the snaps call that time, and the handoff to Hayward, and he gains... Only a yard, ran into Kenny McDaniel. Got a yard up to the 41-yard line. Jack will be second and nine from that point. The Eagles have played better football this year, although the record doesn't show it. They uh, took Eastern Kentucky all the way down to the wire and lost. They had Eastern Austin. scored a couple of touchdowns in the final uh, few minutes of play. They had Austin Peavy. Second and nine at the 41, but lost. And they give again to Hayward, and Hayward punching into the right side of the line for short yardage, got a yard or two, ran into Doug Homan, the defensive guard from Downey, California. One of the, uh, I think, more excited uh, members of the team following the win over Akron last week, wasn't he, John? Yes, I, you know, it was taken pretty calmly uh, for just a split second, but the team really did erupt, I thought, after that victory. And, well, they should have. Ball at the 43, third down and seven. 
of the possession play for Tennessee Tech here. Fisher going back to throw, sets, fires, man open, it's caught at the 40 yard line. That was Goodlow wide open down there and it's a first down for Tech at the Raider 41. So Tech's first pass completion of the day and 16 yards and a first down down to the Raider 41 yard line. One of the few times they've been across midfield if Maybe the only time. Well, so far through the first three quarters, this game has been a rout in favor of the Raiders, and that's good when you're broadcasting on this side of the press box. Looking back at the uh, play chart, I don't think I have Tech across midfield a single time till now. Fisher back to throw. Lost the ball. Check the recovery. The ball's rolling free, and the Raiders have it. Raiders recover the fumble. I think that time Fisher just literally fumbled the ball. He started to dive back into the pocket to try to run up the middle, and he lost control of the football. So John no Garrett. John recovers the fumble. Nobody hit him. He just drops the ball here in just a moment or two. We're watching the replay, folks, on television. He just dropped it. Raiders number 34, John Garrett on the fumble recovery, and now the Raiders take over. First down at the 43, their own territory, running the option, bad pitch. Anderson gonna fall on the ball, and loose ball. Down around the 23, 24, and Tech fix it up, and well, I think Gerald, Gerald probably made a mistake in yes. not falling on the ball immediately. I think Gerald wanted to decide to go galloping, and the, his number one responsibility there, and he makes a big mistake here, is after the ball is fumbled, he's the only man back there with a silver helmet, he should have dropped on the ball immediately. He did not do so. Outman four or five to one. The recovery goes to Tech. So the Eagles now have it at the Raider 24. I have to believe most, many of our fumbles, many, many of our fumbles have happened on that quick option. When they start the pitch, we've dropped the ball out there. You recall last week in the Akron game, I don't think Collier pitched it a single time on the option. He Ran it each time successfully. Now Tech with the ball at the Raider 24 after the exchange of fumbles. They give to the fullback Hayward down to the 20 yard line. Inside the 20 down to close to the 19 goes Hayward the fullback. Holman along with uh, Colbert. And Kenny McDaniel for the Raiders. Five yard gain. It'll be second and five for Tennessee Tech at the Raider 19. The Raiders don't want that goal line crossed. Well, inside the 10, they are just a mean and ornery bunch of buckaroos. They do not like to get scored on. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter as Fisher out of the wishbone, gives to the fullback Hayward, drives down inside to the 16-yard line. Doug Homan and Roosevelt Culvert and Robert Frazier, Frazier on the bottom of the pile. I know the coaching staff, the Raider coaching staff, keeps how the defense does in particular situations. I wish I knew because inside the 20, we have to have some amazing stats in terms of keeping the ball out of the end zone. Not only that, but not even giving up the three. Speaking of three, it's third and three at the 17-yard line. Tech needs to take it to the 14 for a first down. Tech out of the wishbone from the 17-yard line. Here's the play by Fisher. Fisher gives to Hayward. Hayward is met at the 14 and driven back. They're going to spot it inside the 14, which should give him first down yardage. Dino Deulius leading the defensive charge. In fact, he had his helmet knocked free on that one. That'll be a first down for Tech. Tech at the 14-yard line with a first and 10. Hayward appears to be a quality running back, Dick, and despite a one and nine record and everything else that's gone wrong for the Eagles this year, he appears to be quality. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Raiders leading 31 to nothing. Tech, after recovering a fumble at the 24, now with the first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Hayward, the fullback, standing right behind the quarterback. Fisher, Fisher calls a timeout. Fisher looked up and saw something in the defense he did not well, I recognize thought, and called a timeout. I thought we were in base all the way, but let's see what happens. We will take a one-minute 
timeout. 60 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Out of the 14-yard line as we resume play, Tech, uh, after the timeout, is first down at that point. A minute 39 remaining in the third quarter, and the Raiders on top by a 31-0 count. Terry Goodlow goes wide to the right side. Now Fisher calling the signals, giving to the fullback Hayward at the 10, at the 9, at the 8-yard line. Hayward driving inside the 10-yard line where Tech will be second down from that point. Garrett and Moorhead. Moorhead up from the corner. And Garrett is spotted at the 8. Hayward got 6. Second down and 4. Bright sunshine on this Saturday afternoon. Final regular season game. Well, now they're in trouble. They're inside the 10. Tech, you mean? Yes. From the eight yard line, here's Fisher. Fisher to the fullback. Hayward to the five, four, three yard line and a Tech first down. McDaniel, defensive tackle. Doug Homan checking back in for the Raiders. Tech will be first and goal at the three. The teams exchanged fumbles, and Tech, after losing it, got it back one play later at the Raider 24. They have moved it now to the three. 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. First and goal. Here is Fisher, the quarterback. Fisher takes to the full, or keeps and drives into the end zone for the touchdown. Fisher faking to the fullback and then looping left. Just got it across the end zone with 21 seconds to play in the third quarter. Fisher made a good mood, move and uh, did a good job of skirting inside and scoring. Got a nice block on the way in for the six points. The extra point will be attempted by Bruce Winningham, who is 15 of 17 for the season. He is a straightaway kicker. It's off to the right, and it is no good. Chuck Usher, number 28 for Tennessee Tech, was the man that really forced the blocking down and opened up the hole for Fisher. So each team has missed an extra point, and we'll be back with the Tech kickoff with a score 31-6 in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Your home is one of the most important investments you'll make, and many decisions will be made in regard to your home. Home building products can help you in your decision for maintenance-free exterior. Using aluminum and vinyl siding, Home building products will cover the overhangs and highlight your windows with shutters and decorator colors, so there's never a need to paint. So add value to your home and free time to your schedule with vinyl and aluminum maintenance-free materials from Home Building Products, 226 West Castle Street, Murfreesboro. If you're car shopping, come to Rivergate Motors on Gallatin Road. At Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, you'll find luxury cars, sport cars, economy cars, and custom vans. Dan always offers a good selection of quality late model pre-owned automobiles and used custom vans, including rentals available on custom vans. Rivergate Motors also offers bank financing at attractive rates. Stop by and save thousands at Rivergate Motors, Gallatin Road, one mile north of Rivergate near Music City Honda. Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, where you'll always find the right car or van at a great price. Tech had very good coverage on it. Gets it away in the direction of Robert Alford, who will take it at the 10. Alford looking for the return, comes to the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and down at the 45 yard line. Alford almost broke that one all the way. You could really sense that coming in, Dick, and he went up the field and cut toward the boundary, the near side boundary, and Alford was off to the races. He leads the country, the kick return team, by the way, for middle, continues to be number one in the country on kickoff returns, and he has quite an escort going up the field. Murphy. Uh, the Raider backup center among them. 11 seconds remaining. As those of you watching on the telecast can see number nine, Robert Alford on the kickoff return. Winningham, by the way, the kicker knocked him down. Here's the pitch back to Stone. Stone at the 45, at the 50, at the 45, and out of bounds. White Stone is running with abandon today. This is uh, the best game that young man has had in several weeks. Now, he hasn't seen much playing time, Dick. As I mentioned, he has not really carried the football much of late. It's been more of a one-tailback set with Gerald Anderson 
emerging uh, as he did a year ago. But Stone, when he gets the opportunity, can carry that football pretty well. Went from the Raider 44 to the Tech 44. How many yards? Quickly. 12. One dozen. And a first down for the Raiders. Pitch back to the tailback Stone. Stone driving it down near the Tech 40 yard line. He's swarmed under there at the 40 as the third quarter comes to an end. As the tackle made by Antony Sinkfield for Tennessee Tech. We'll take a 60 second break. One minute on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Services Unlimited. You name it, we do it. Office and home cleaning. We'll clean your home or office to give you that professional look. We wash windows and do all types of maintenance. Commercial or residential painting and carpentry are another of our specialties. We'll also provide a complete landscape and maintain the upkeep. And our lawn care service will mow yards, rake leaves, and take out dead trees and shrubs. That service is unlimited, 895-0477. Wouldn't a delicious Sir Pizza be good right now? Why not let Sir Pizza serve your favorite pizza piping hot and made to order? If you can't make it, call us for home delivery. Yes, we deliver piping hot Sir Pizzas and sandwiches to your door. Just think, no cooking, no cleanup. A delicious Sir Pizza pile high with your favorite toppings. For Sir Pizza home delivery in Murfreesboro, call 896-2410 or 893-2111 to enjoy your favorite Sir Pizza at home. Remember, we're only a phone call away by a score of 31 to 6 as we get ready to go to the fourth quarter of play. We'll get those third quarter stats in just a moment. Raiders are second and six at the Tech 40 yard line. Collier the quarterback. Burst and Stone give to Stone. Stone at the 40, 35, 30, breaks it to the 25, down to the 20. He's going to go all the way. Dwight Stone on the first play of the fourth quarter goes 40 yards for a touchdown. Dick, by the way, that is our 50th touchdown of the year, number 5-0, if you combine the offensive and defensive scores. That may be a school record. Boy, you're going to make me look at that media guy. Tremendous blocking once again. This appears so easy, but it's not. It starts way back in August, doesn't it? White Stone going 40 yards for his second TD of the afternoon. That will give him 13 on the season. Dick Martin on to attempt the point after snap is high Morrison gets it down and the kick by Martin is good so the score is now Middle Tennessee 38 and Tennessee Tech 6 and we'll be back with the Raider kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network I don't see it here do you you know at our house we enjoy meats two or three times a week and we have found that right here at Piggly Wiggly we do better whether we want a steak or even an old country ham. And you won't find a better selection of good fresh produce. You know all of these fine people save money at Piggly Wigglies just like we do. Remember, when you see this face, you're at the right place. If you're car shopping, come to Rivergate Motors on Gallatin Road. At Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, you'll find luxury cars, sport cars, economy cars, and custom vans. Dan always offers a good selection of quality late model pre-owned automobiles and used custom vans, including rentals available on custom vans. Rivergate Motors also offers bank financing at attractive rates. Stop by and save thousands at Rivergate Motors, Gallatin Road, one mile north of Rivergate near Music City Honda. Dan Scott's Rivergate Motors, where you'll always find the right car or van at a great price already set now with the first touchdown today. Go ahead and get this off. Martin's kick goes all the way out of the end zone. Total points scored, Dick, a new record. It was 324. We came in with 322, so we have certainly eclipsed that record. I think Martin set a record for extra points last in the season last week, or a week before last. Tennessee Tech at the 20-yard line. George, we have some quick stats for us here. All right, the Raiders have 270 total yards, 121 for Tech, 190 rushing for the Raiders, 105 for Tech, 80 through the air for the Raiders, 16 through the air for Tech. That is through three quarters of play. Pope is back in there at quarterback now for Tennessee Tech. 
First down from the 20-yard line. Pope back to throw. He's going to run. Runs to the 22-23, and Dino Deulius is there to bring him down. So a gain of three yards. I think we saw someone spotted Robbie Ridings here today, former yes. Blue Raider linebacker. And coach, former coach. The uh, former sports information director here, Jim Freeman, making a return visit. He almost charged rent on that uh, tummy of his with the number one sweatshirt. <laughs> Gain of three. It's second and seven at the 23-yard line. There is Pope again running a quarterback draw and is going to be swarmed under at the 23-yard line. May not have, well, just barely got back to the line of scrimmage. John Garrett, the defensive end, brought him down there. This is becoming a real mis uh, mismatch, Dick, and many people have the inkling that that could happen here this afternoon. Could be the widest margin of victory for the Raiders in this series, which goes back to 1917. 29 at the, uh, as the record right now, point spread on the Raiders' side. Tech's biggest margin was 55 to 14 in 1955. I think I saw that game from the stands. Fisher back to throw. And the middle intercepted, oh, and then dropped. Intercepted and dropped by Garrett at the 35-yard line will bring up a fourth and seven. Talking to our friend Eldon Burgess from the play-by-play -play announcer for the Eagle Network, worked his first game here, John, in 55, 30 years ago. So this is, uh, he's worked exactly half the games in the series, and when I reminded him of that, he changed the subject. <laughs> Here's the punt by Meadows. Griffin waiting at the 29, looks for a block comes to the 30. Griffin to the 35, 36 yard line. Where the Raiders will have it first and 10. Neely downfield on the tackle for Tennessee Tech. How about the punt, George? That punt by Meadows good for 48 yards. Any other stats we uh, missed a moment ago? Well, the third quarter, end of the third quarter, there had been eight fumbles in the game. Tech had six of them losing it three times. The Raiders two losing it twice. Raiders first down from the 36. Collier takes, sprints out left, running, and is going to go out of bounds near the 40-yard line. At the 42, Ray Regoni ran him out of bounds. Second and four at the 42-yard line. Well, we don't know what's coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks, but uh, there, well, we do know there that is the, more action coming, folks. The basketball team will open up in Tennessee anyway next week. What? A balloon on the field? <laughs> the, the back judge started to take the balloon off the field and then thought, well, why don't I just crush it? And he did. Collier running the option, caught as he crosses the 45 to the 48-yard line. Cedric Hampton on the tackle for Tennessee Tech, and that should be enough for a Raider first down, and it is. Dick, I really think, looking through the media guide, and I've done it very quickly, we have never before scored 38 points against Tennessee Tech. What? I believe that's true. Now, this is a very quick scan trying to catch the game and the media guide at the same time, but... I believe that's the case. Quick opener to the fullback and uh, coming across. Kevin Baker across the midfield stripe. Quick opener down to the Tech 42-yard line. It'll be close to a first down. Raiders have a man injured. Let's get the glasses. It's one of the linemen. It may be Kersell. Raiders with an injured player on the field. Well, Cox has come in, so I assume it is David Kersell. I think it is Kersell injured. Time remaining in the game, 12-27. And the Raiders will be first down at the Tech 42. Reviewing a couple other stats, Dick, with Dwight Stone's 40-yard touchdown run. He's got seven carries today, 103 yards. Gerald Anderson took a loss on his last carry. He has 74 yards and 22 carries. That as we mentioned earlier, put him over to the 1,000-yard mark. Marvin Collier now 28 carries, I mean, excuse me, 12 carries for 28 yards, and he needed 11 to break the record for rushing for the quarterback, as we mentioned earlier. 
Raiders first down at the 42. Cursell came out under his own power. The senior, 6'2", 260 from Versailles, Pennsylvania, replaced by Mike Cox. Tech makes contact. Penalty markers go down, and the play will be halted before it can get underway. Let's check the call. Dick, you're living in a moment of history, apparently, as we all are at all times, but undefeated, ranked number one at the end of the year. That's never happened before in the history of the school. So many positive things to say about this program this year. It has been building, though, for many years. It hasn't been just this one year. It's been even before you and I were part of the broadcast team with Middle. First down for the Raiders at the 37 after a five-yard offside penalty against Tech to the tailback Stone. Stone down to the 35, piled up at the 34-yard line. Rutledge, the linebacker, squires the defensive end. Gain of three yards. It'll be second down and a couple. I would have to, with under 12 minutes remaining, I would say that the goal posts are in danger. I'd say Mr. Smotherman had better send the guard out. Second and two at the 34. Kevin Baker trying to swing outside, gets away from one man, gets down to the 30, and picks up a first down for the Raiders at the 29. Baker that time played a little peekaboo with the Tech, and Dwight Stone came back to level the containment on the outside, but Baker found nothing on the inside, then started to play peekaboo, and Tech did a good job of stringing this out, but then Dwight Stone came from that tailback spot, nailed the cornerback, allowing Kevin to turn the corner and pick up some good yardage. Raiders taking Marvin Cotter out, and the new quarterback is freshman Marty Uberard, six feet 170 from Rogersville, Tennessee. Cotter coming out of the game now. The Raiders have a first down at the Tennessee Tech 29-yard line. Uberard fumbles the ball, and Tech recovers on the very first play. That's a heck of a way to begin, but uh, Collier, what a what a performance as a freshman, a redshirt freshman, and. Marvin, of course, three more years remaining, much to the dismay, I'm sure, of many OVC coaches. Barksdale, a defensive end, fell on the ball, and Tech recovers the fumble at the 29-yard line. That's the second fumble, I think, isn't it, George? Third fumble. Third, All of them lost. Third fumble the Raiders have lost to the Eagles today. That might also be a, a team record this year in terms of fumbles lost in the ball game. We just haven't done that this year. Ball at the 29 now as Tech is first and 10 as Fisher back in at quarterback. Gives to the fullback Hayward. Hayward drives it up to the 34, picked up five yards. Where it will be second and five for the Eagles. Dino DeUlius and Doug Althaus combining on the tackle. I think Cursell might have just had a leg cramp. He's, uh, I think so, too, because when they were down there, uh, George Camp was smiling, and George would not be smiling if Cursell were really hurt. Raiders have Scott Smichael in at linebacker, Jack Pittman in in the defensive line now. Second and five, football at the 34-yard line. As Fisher goes back to throw, he's going to crank it off long, and it is going to be intercepted by Dewan Buford. Buford intercepts, and the Raiders will have the football back, and we'll have it around the 38-yard line. First interception of the day for the Raiders, who had seven a week ago. Well, that's one reason I think that they had really not gone to the air attack at all. Fisher had come in with only three interceptions. The team had seven. You look at those passing stats for Tennessee Tech. Both quarterbacks, Dick, hitting under 36% for the year. So they are not a passing team, and when you're forced out of your game plan, that's what comes back to haunt you. For Buford, that is his third interception. Floyd Walker in the ball game. Walker running the ball, and Walker advances it to the 40-yard line. Second and seven. Uh. Marty Uverard starting this series at quarterback, so he's still in there. Oh, boy. 
Don, you can watch all the off no, the field let's, activity. Let's play football from this standpoint. You, Berard, to Floyd Walker. Walker running into number 47, Mike Thornton. Thornton bringing him down at the 41-yard line. Some things going on off the field, which... Well, we'll keep him off the field, Dick. Don't have anything to do with the football game. Floyd Walker. Tremendous desire needed here. Floyd Walker doesn't see much action. He takes a pounding in practice every week, and he's out there, number 33, to take it when he has the opportunity. Five foot three, 139 pounds. I tell you what, that kind of a run would make him feel five foot tall instead of, you know, the 10 foot tall saying. It is third and six at the 41. Fumble a snap from center, and Uberard falls on the ball at the 39. You know, you wonder why uh, Marty is having trouble. He takes so many snaps from center during practice and everything. It's really no excuse for that kind of ball handling. Just a little nervous. Well, I'm sure he is. He still uh, is beating Marvin out in percentage of pass completions. 66% passer on the year. <laughs> Has only thrown the ball three times. As they say, two out of three ain't bad. Morrison in punt formation. Tech putting 10 men up on the line of scrimmage again. Plenty of time. Morrison gets it away. Low floating kick and bounces at the 20, down to the 15, down to the 10, down to the 5. And did they get it? Nope. Goes into the end zone. Good try. I think Greg Bullock was trying to time it. He was down there chasing it. He wasn't going, I don't think, full speed. He was timing it to try to bat it away and then just could not do it at the last moment. Bullock, who snapped the ball, was down there along with Mike Clark for the Raiders, trying to down it inside the five-yard line. But it comes out to the 20, where Tech will be first and 10. 38-6 the score. The Raiders on top with eight minutes to play as the Raiders well on their way to an undefeated season and a number one ranking in the nation in the final regular season poll. Quite an accomplishment for Boots Donnelly, and if it spreads out from there. Boots, of course, the head figure and the prime motivator, but you have to go throughout the program, the training services, the press services from Ed Given, the administrative staff. You have to give a lot of people credit. And of course, the broadcast crew will always take some credit if given. I knew you'd get around to us sooner or later. Why not? They give a lot more credit than pay. <laughs> no, I've got to be careful. Really, we... We do congratulate Coach Donnelly and his staff, offensive coordinator Tom Jones, defensive coordinator Ed Bunio, and assistant coaches Tom Fiveash, Alex Robbins, Andy McCullum, Mike Woodford, Dennis Thorell, all the graduate assistants, student managers and trainers who are all a part of the Blue Raider football organization. Bud the bus driver, Mr. Luther, our guard on the road. Our support crew. Yes. Tech will have the football at the 20-yard line, first and 10, with 8.08 the time remaining. Their quarterback is Fisher. They have two wide receivers out there. Fisher running the option, pitches it back to Hayward, and Hayward gets hit by Brad Cowan. Cowan and then Wagner was there, and Doug Althaus, and... Uh, Hayward, who was hit behind the line, managed to struggle forward for a yard to the 21-yard line. And you're hearing some names that you don't hear usually during the season, but you're going to be hearing them a year from now. Some seniors in that defensive line and defensive linebacking court and the defensive ends especially. Brad hey. Cowan is a freshman from Alexandria. He's on the travel squad, and that means if you're on the travel squad as a freshman, Coach Donnelly has a very good feeling about you. Second and nine at the 21-yard line. Here is Fisher dropping back to throw. Fisher looking. He's in trouble, and David Wagner will get the tackle, the sack, back around the 15-yard line. Wagner, number 95, a junior from Knoxville, Tennessee, a two-year letterman. Brought him down back at the 16-yard line. Loss of five. It'll be third and 14. New defensive backfield in for the Raiders. Freeman Davis, Derek Warren and Robert Mullins. Mullins, who was a starter much of the season, now playing in a backup role, and he's in at the right corner. Warren at the left corner, and Freeman Davis from Clarksville is in at the free safety position. Third and 14. Back to throw Fisher. Fisher looks. 
Pumps once, throws a wobbly pass, going to be intercepted. Vince Johnson at the 25, at the 20, at the 15, and finally brought down inside the 10-yard line. Well, tremendous pressure that time. Doug Althaus creating that interception by hitting Fisher, and what a way to end the season. Vince Johnson played the fullback, but again, the pressure that time by Althaus. Fisher had time, good coverage by the Raiders secondary, and then from the blind side, a tremendous opportunity here for an interception by Vince Johnson, the defensive right end. For you folks watching the television replay, you see Johnson. Well, oh, he makes a good run back. Excellent run down the far sideline. Now the Raiders have it at the 12-yard line. First and 10, Marty Uberard pitching it back to the tailback to the 10, 9, 8. And down there, as carrying the football for the Raiders that time, Lloyd Walker. Lloyd Walker, number 33. Joey Holly is listed. Joey Holly, number 27. I haven't heard that name of late. Wide receiver. Injured player for Tech is Mike Thornton, a freshman defensive back. And he is down on the field being attended to there. While some people are exiting, Dick, you don't see the mass exit. You see people waiting and apprehending uh, what's going to happen or comprehending what's going to happen here at the end of this ball game, the savoring of an undefeated season, and of course a conference championship that was won on the road. A little bit of that will be celebrated here after the ball game, and the anticipation of what a playoff game will be almost certainly to be held here in two weeks. Well, we're looking forward to that. We don't know who the opponent will be. It will. It doesn't matter, it really. Be, when you get to the final 12, they're all going to be good. It will be the winner of a first-round game, which uh, all first-round games will be played next week. I know you're hoping that perhaps uh, Nevada Reno will be on the schedule eventually, and I don't know. we'll send you out there. Now, last week, people criticized me, uh, who contacted me during the week on who cares which was older, you or the Rubber Bowl. My question this week, who named two items that were out in Las Vegas this year that are now taking part in this football game. The Tennessee With, Tech football team. Well, the Tennessee Tech uh, television truck won, and you the second. The truck did not lose any money in Las Vegas, <laughs> although it had a tough time getting in the lobby. Here's the play from the seven-yard line, second and five. Marty Uverard, the quarterback. Pitches it back to Floyd Walker. Walker is hit, spins away to the five, down to the four-yard line. The Raiders are doing everything they can to give Floyd Walker an opportunity to cross the goal line. Does he have one this year? Let's look it up. Walker, zero touchdowns. Came into the game with about 18 carries, so he's carried the ball a little bit today. It is third and three. The Raiders are at the five. They need to take the football down to the two-yard line for first down. Patterson and Holly are the two wideouts sending in the plays right now. They pitch it back to Walker. Five. Swings wide. He scores! Lord Walker goes five yards to pay dirt. And what a way to cap off the season. The arch rival, Tennessee Tech, will lose. Walker this time just outruns the defense, Dick, I think. Tech had some pretty good uh, people out there, but Walker just turns it out toward the boundary and is off for six. This is going to be the widest margin of victory in the history of this encounter. It's going to be our 11th win, and it's just all building up to a tremendous final few minutes. 5.07, the time remaining as Dick Martin prepares to attempt the point after touchdown. Snap, it's down, the kick is away by Martin, and the kick is good. The score is Middle Tennessee 45, Tennessee Tech 6, We'll be back with a kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. Services Unlimited. You name it, we do it. Office and home cleaning. We'll clean your home or office to give you that professional look. We wash windows and do all types of maintenance. Commercial or residential painting and carpentry are another of our specialties. We'll also provide a complete landscape and maintain the upkeep. And our lawn care service will mow yards, rake leaves, and take out dead trees and shrubs. That service is unlimited, 895-0477.
Your home is one of the most important investments you'll make, and many decisions will be made in regard to your home. Home building products can help you in your decision for maintenance-free exterior. Using aluminum and vinyl siding, home building products will cover the overhangs and highlight your windows with shutters and decorator colors, so there's never a need to paint. So add value to your home and free time to your schedule with vinyl and aluminum maintenance-free materials from Home Building Products, 226 West Castle Street, Murfreesboro. Raiders with a huge lead. Here's the kick. It's going to be fielded at the three-yard line. And coming up to the 20 is Rivers. I thought Rivers had a real hole that time, and he tripped up on the turf or he could have been off to the races. Now spotted at the 20 yard line. Tech will take over. We uh, mentioned uh, uh, said happy birthday to Mr. Campbell. Ed. We always he's been he's been uh, glorifying that 40th birthday for three weeks oh, hoping we'd mention it. I didn't yeah. know that. Freeman Davis in there at the safety now replacing Griffin. Some new names. Let's mention them Dick when we have a moment. All at the 20-yard line, first and 10. Rodney Hart is in the ball game. Pittman makes the tackle. That time the ball carrier was Ronald Turner. A rare carry for him. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line, no gain. Brad Cowan and who's the other defensive end. Kenny Tippins, Tippins. Pittman and McMurray are the tackles. Give to the fullback. Number 44, Dave Mixon carried the ball. Brad Cowan and Glenn McMurray on the tackle for the Raiders. Tony Walker coming in, number 79, a freshman from Chickamauga, Georgia. We in trouble on 49. Oh, we do. <laughs> well, we have one out on the field, but not on the uh, depth chart, which uh, Wayne Gross is supposed to make sure that everyone in uniform is on that depth chart. Third and seven. Tech at the 23-yard line. We have 342 to play. Back to throw. Fisher, pass caught. At the 40, 45 yard line, Al Flanner, the receiver, and Freeman Davis knocks him out of bounds. Good poise by Fisher that time, Dick, and he just stayed in the pocket, waited for that crossing pattern to develop, and a very nice reception for Tennessee Tech there. One of the small, I guess, positive things that's happened for the Golden Purple, but nice crossing pattern and a very nice re release and a completion for the Eagles. I suppose we can wish Mr. Campbell a happy birthday. We did that uh, for you last week. He enjoys life. Exciting. He says he can't wait for the next 10 or 15 years. Not so sure after that, but he says he's enjoyed his life and hopes to continue to do so. You've had a discussion with him. Oh, about absolutely. This. Not every day you turn 40, Dick. This is Hayward running straight ahead. Ran into Rodney Hart and Jack Pittman. And Hayward... Picks up a couple up to the 47-yard line. Has he reached his 1,000 yards yet, George? He should have. Yes, he has. He's got 91 today, and he needs 74. I wish we could really beam in on Coach Donnelly's mind right now and what he has to be thinking. And, of course, if you ask him the question, I'm just thinking about the ball game with three minutes left. I think he's remembering back a few years ago when he was getting the dickens stomped out of him by everybody and now how far the program has developed and where it is right now. Well, when the Raiders won, uh, as Tech carries it across midfield, when the Raiders won three games in Coach Donnelly's first two years, two of those victories were over Tennessee Tech, if you recall, 17-14 and 21-7. And, and then when he turned it around, Tech became the nemesis. When Tech was down on the bottom of the league, where they've remained for some time now, they, they have come back and uh, taken us when we shouldn't have been taken. Part of a rivalry. Third and three. Ball at the Raider 47. Raiders leading 45 to 6. Waning moments of the ball game. Crowd estimated at 11,500 today as the quarterback Fisher runs the option. Picks up a first down. 
Robert Mullins, the cornerback, bringing him down at the Raider 43-yard line. Well, Dick, who do you want to assign to go down to cover the celebration for us? Not that we have any mics down there or anything. I wish we did. Well, Mr. Gross and I will be a part of that as we work our way back to the locker room, perhaps. However, we mustn't linger. We'll be talking with Coach Donnelly after the game, getting his comments. Fisher's going to throw it long for the end zone, and it is caught at the five-yard line. That was good coverage, just a tremendous reception by Tennessee Tech. Al Flanner made a leaping reception at the five, and Tech's going to have it first and goal at the one-yard line. That was good coverage, really. I, we can't complain about where our people were positioned. That was just a tremendous reception and a very nice pattern by Fisher to the wideout. Al Flanner, number one, who caught the ball, had caught only one pass all season going into this game. He's caught two this afternoon. and well, He took the ball away, really, from the defender. The defender was in a good spot to catch the ball. Tech now trying to score for the second time today. As the give is to the fullback, he didn't get there. That's Hayward. Stopped short of the goal line. Boy, he was stopped by Rodney Hart immediately. Hart really came behind the line of scrimmage to stop that runner. Clock ticks under a minute to play now. It's second and goal to go from the one-yard line. Many of the Raider backup defensive players are in there, and they'll try to emulate the number one defensive unit, their goal line toughness. Second down. Here is Fisher, the quarterback. Fisher keeps, pitches it back, and going into the end zone for the touchdown, number 23, Ronald Turner. Turner scores with 32 seconds left in the ball game. That makes the score 45 to 12. And Tech getting ready for the extra point attempt. They will probably go for two. 45 to 12. They're going to go for two. Here's Fisher. Fisher takes, gives it to Hayward, and he has stopped. The extra point attempt is no good, and with 32 seconds left in the game, it is 45 to 12. We'll be back with the Tech kickoff in 30 seconds on the Blue Raiders Sports Network. <clears throat> That's the sign Sometimes if you heard the old adage, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Well, that's good advice most of the time. But there are exceptions, and here's a good example. How about a vacation to Fort Lauderdale, Daytona, Fort Myers, or St. Petersburg, or many other exciting cities, including Orlando, home of Walt Disney World, and Epcot? And the best part is the price. Only $59.95. That's right. $59.95 for five sun-swept days and four fun-filled nights in sunny Florida. There's no gimmick and there are no hidden charges. Your accommodations are first class at some of Florida's most famous resort areas. Enjoy golf, tennis, or just fun in the sun for only $59.95. If you'd like to know more about this fabulous once-in-a-lifetime offer, just pick up the phone and call 615-836-3101. That vacation of a lifetime is just a phone call away. 615-836-3101. The cost of your call will be reimbursed. Call now. This offer is subject to printed provisions and not available to Florida residents. We're playing for the squib here. There's the kick. Raiders cover. <laughs> Greg Bullock, I think, covers it. Or, yes. Bullock caught it on the fly. Anytime the ball doesn't bounce, Dick, you're eliminating yourself from a possible recovery. Tech had a funny little maneuver there as they sent everybody. They overshifted, to, tried to overshift everybody on one side to overnumber somebody or the Raiders on that side. So the football at the Tech 46 yard line, Raiders with 31 seconds showing on the clock. I think they're just gonna kill the ball, John. That's the formation they're in. Marty Uberard, the quarterback, will just drop down to one knee and Remains to be seen whether Tech will let the clock run out or whether they will. I think they'll call let it a run time out. Dick, uh, we'll let you tick it down for us when we get under 10. 
Raiders should not have to snap it again. Ten seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven. You can hear the crowd building up down below as the Raiders with three, two, one. And the ball game is over. The Raiders have completed an undefeated season. Eleven wins, no losses. An Ohio Valley Conference championship. The number one ranking in Division I AA in the nation. And the goalpost, the goalpost at the south end of the field is coming down. There goes the goalpost. The Raiders win it by a score of 45 to 12. Undefeated in number one in 1985. And you have to wonder now what's next for the Raider program. Undefeated, number one. The accomplishment is there. Tennessee Tech is vanquished. We thought they would be. 11 to 0, Dick. It's hard to believe. Look at that scene down on the field. and That seems like that was planned, Dick. They've <laughs> practiced uh, knocking some goalposts down. The Raider students displaying the goalpost as they traverse across the field. Meanwhile, the two teams mingling in the center of the field. And but the last time the goalposts came down, they were cut up and They've ended up in several hundred different areas, and they've got a lot more posts to work with, Dick. Maybe we could pick up a... Now they're going for the other goal, post. Well, it's a moment in history that we haven't seen very often, Dick, and I think uh, we will accept what's happening and say, by golly, the Raiders deserve to have this kind of a celebration. Final score, 45 to 12. The Raiders winning over Tennessee Tech. 11 wins, no losses for the 1985 MTSU football team. The next game should be two weeks from today. Should be right here. We'll know more about that in the next couple of days, perhaps. Also, you know, a point to make, I'd like to make, uh, we need all the support we can get in those playoff games. We'd like to see a sellout stadium because it's really history in the making. Well, the North Gold Post is coming down, too, and Although this time, uh, Bill Smotherman will have something to work with. They're down on either end. I think the working arrangement was take them down, folks, but leave them here. And Boots Donnelly has been holding court down there with the various television media, and he's still right down there on the field. It's been an interesting afternoon. Congratulations to Boots and the entire football program. And indeed, it's something for the university that uh, getting national recognition, going 11-0, being ranked number one, going into the playoffs, the recognition comes countrywide and the Raiders are one of the I think three undefeated teams nationally the other two being Penn State and Bowling Green the Raiders are the only one double-a team in the undefeated ranks hmm. and as you said we'll have the top the seed in the playoffs coming up I think we'll like that too I don't think that's a situation where so many people say you hate being number one because everyone's shooting for you for the last, what, four or five weeks, we've been ranked number one. Everybody's been gearing up. If we can beat middle, we might win the conference championship. If we beat middle, we've really had a terrible season but really salvaged it. All of those things uh, have not yet been able to stop the Raider offense and defense from really dominating action and winning football games.